Welcome. Let me start with a question. We like to say that turning one full turn is equivalent to turning 360 degrees. That is, we associate the angles in a circle to be the number 360 degrees. From where did this number 360 come? Now, many people say, um, and it's actually very hard to find historical evidence to support this, though it's very, it's very much a common belief, that the number 360 comes from the Babylonians 4,000 years ago. They are fully aware that one full year, that is one full cycle of the seasons, corresponds to the number 365 and a quarter days. So they associated the number 365 and a quarter with one full turn. So that meant with one full cycle, they thought 365 and a quarter, but the mathematics working with this awkward number would be horrendous. So they decided to round the number 365 and a quarter to something more manageable. Now most people think they would round up to 370, but instead they chose to round down to 360. They chose 360 over 370, allegedly. Why 360? Well, actually, it's a much friendlier number than 370. For example, 360 is divisible by 2, by 3, by 4, by 5, by 6, not by 7, but it is divisible by 8, by 9, by 10, by 12, 15, all sorts of things. 370 doesn't have many factors. So it's really coming from the fact there's about 360 days in a year that we like to associate the number 360 with one full cycle, with one full turn. Now the number 360 is very particular to us being human beings on this particular planet. Which makes me think that if Martians, if I were to convert to the Martian, they would not say there's 360 degrees in a circle. They would say, actually, one full turn is 670 degrees, because it turns out there's about 670 Martian days in a Martian year. So the Martians probably associate the number 670 with the number, amount of degrees in a full circle. Now these numbers are very, very particular to which particular planet you to be sitting on. They're not math numbers, they're not coming from mathematics. So mathematicians realize that actually when you come start to do very serious mathematics, these numbers are strange coming out of the blue as far as the math is concerned. It would be much better to use a number that's more natural to the math. And that's what radian measure is about. We're going to associate with one full turn, not with the number, not the number 360 for humans or 670 for Martians, but something that's relevant to mathematics. Here goes, here's what we do. So we'll start with the circle, and we're going to go around that circle in one full turn. To make life really easy for ourselves, because mathematicians like to be simple, let's pick the simplest radius we can think of just to make math clear and good. Let's choose radius 1. And let's literally ask, if I were to walk one full turn about a circle of radius 1, how far have I physically walked? Well, the circumference of a circle is given by the formula 2 pi r. But if the radius is 1, then we have walked a distance of 2 times pi times 1. That is a distance of 2 pi units. So we are now going to say one full turn is the equivalent of 2 pi, and we'll call these units radians. I'll explain the name radian in a moment. That's it. End of story. 360 degrees. We won't say 360. That's very earthy. We'll say 2 pi instead. Call them radians. So 360 degrees is 2 pi radians. If I take this equation and divide by 2, I get that 180 degrees would be pi radians, which kind of makes sense. If I go 180 degrees around the circle, I have indeed walked half the circumference, half of 2 pi is pi radians. That's it. Some people like to memorize this as a way to convert between degrees and radians. Uh, for example, 90 degrees would be dividing by 2 again, that's pi over 2 radians, and so on. Now, let me explain the name radian. The name radian reminds me of the word radius, and there's a very close connection to radius and radians here. Let's see if I can get it going. So uh, we worked with the circle of radius 1 just to make our life easy, da, 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 1. Um, I could work with a circle of any radius I like, whoops, big circle, so I'll do this a circle of radius r. Suppose I walk around the full big circle, da, 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 one full turn around it, I have walked a distance of 2 pi r. That corresponds here to walking a distance of 2 pi, so that's 2 pi radians. Now. Suppose I decide to walk just one radius's worth around my big circle. And I'm going to see if I can figure out what angle am I talking about here? How much turning is that? Well, I've turned, I've walked r units out of a possible 2 pi r units. That is, I've walked a fraction r over 2 pi r, that is 1 2 pi th all the way around. So I've done 1 2 pi th of a full turn. Well, that means this angle here is 1 2 pi of 
a full turn. 1, 2 pi is 360 degrees, if I'm going in degrees, or it's 1, 2 pi of 2 pi radians. That is, 1, 2 pi of 2 pi is 1. So this angle here is 1 radian. So the name radian applies the fact that 1 radian represents the amount of turning that corresponds to walking 1 radius worse around the circle. That's the scoop. That's what radians are all about. Now, to really get a good sense of what to play with them and practice them more, I've been very brief here, go to Chapter 5 of Volume 5 of the series. I go into greater detail about this. But that's just in a nutshell what radians are coming from. Thanks very much.